Well, a declassified FBI document is detailing conversations with an informant over Joe and Hunter Biden's alleged foreign business dealings. Now, there's a 1023 document from a confidential human source that talks about the relationship that Joe and Hunter Biden had with the CEO of Burisma. His last name is Zlachevsky. Uh, and here's a portion of what the document says. This 1023 that Chuck Grassley released to the public. The CEO of Burisma stated he didn't want to pay the Bidens. He was pushed to pay them. He said he has many text messages and recordings that show he was coerced to make such payments. He claims he has 15 recordings of Hunter and two of Joe. The CEO also told, the confidential human source also said, the CEO said it costs $5 million to pay one Biden and $5 million to another. You can guess who those two Bidens are. And uh, the CEO of Burisma had a certain view of Hunter Biden as well, saying Hunter Biden was stupid and his dog was smarter, so everything will be okay. They were paying for political cover from the Bidens because they wanted access to the energy markets in the United States, or at least oil and gas leases, and they thought the Bidens were the way to get it done. Now we know a lot more about how that happened. Joining us now is former director of national intelligence, John Radcliffe. John, this is stunning stuff. If, if, if you know, we, it was redacted heavily, there were some members of Congress that were able to see this, then we get this 1023 with some huge claims that the, the vice president, private citizen, whatever, is using that power to enrich his own family. What, does this get further traction at any point? Well, it should, Pete. You're right. It is stunning, and it's um, and it's damning in, in in so many respects, both with respect to the to the Bidens, uh, but also with regard to the FBI and how this has been handled. So, so specifically, you know, as as I reviewed this, the thing that really stuck out to me were were, were three words on this FD23, and those three words are the big guy. So, what was related to a confidential human source, highly credible according to the FBI. Um, uh, on this form is a conversation that took place with Zolchevsky, as you pointed out, um, in 2019, where he described this bribery scheme, $10 million to the Bidens, where he described the fact that he was careful not to make payments directly to the big guy. Mm -hmm. Now, Pete, th this document is, is, uh, is dated June 30th of 2020. It wasn't until five months later that the Hunter Biden laptop story um, surfaces and uh, Tony Bobulinski talks about the, the, one of the emails on that laptop that describes a different bri uh, bribery scheme, but the common denominator is with regard to um, the payments that they're careful to say that Hunter will hold 10% for the big guy. Now, Pete, a half a world away, different transactions, people that don't know each other, describing the same type of bribery uh, and corruption scheme, using the term the big guy to describe um, uh, Joe Biden is would be an astronomical coincidence. And in, 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 in terms of legal investigation, these would be corroborating factors. Now, as bad as that all may seem, where it really gets troubling is the fact that these two documents, the FD-1023, which, which really corroborates what's in the Hunter Biden laptop, and the laptop, which corroborates what's in the FD-23, mm -hmm. these two important pieces of evidence, neither one of them was shared by the FBI with the lead criminal investigator. So we heard from the whistleblowers who both said under oath that they didn't have access to either one of these what two could, key pieces of information. What could the excuse be for that? You're, you're, you're over the target there. Could their excuse be, well, this is an IRS investigation and the FBI doesn't have the responsibility to share that? Like, how do you explain that away? You can't, Pete. So uh, the IRS has criminal investigators, but they work with the FBI. And we've heard lots of testimony about the fact that they were they should be working hand in glove with with regard to this. But in this case, you 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 had these documents that were, again, under oath. Both whistleblowers have said that. Remember, Gary Shapley testified that in September of 2020, he asked to see the laptop and was refused. And of course, they both said that they hadn't seen the FD-1023. And then what's more troubling, Pete, is it goes so far as the FBI director later to Congress denied the existence that there even was an FD-1023. Mm -hmm. uh, FD so, you know, something's rotten in Denmark here. And, and I don't lose, don't lose sight of the fact, Pete, that we wouldn't know any of this if House, House Republicans uh, weren't investigating. This isn't coming to light because of the Department of Justice and the FBI. It's only because uh, Republicans are in control of the House. Oh, man, you're exactly right, which is why they're so scared of, 
Donald Trump round two as well, because then even even more comes out. Uh, it, these recordings, do you, do you make anything? I mean, do you think something like that could make its way to the public realm if it's real? Well, if there's a real investigation, but can you count on DOJ and FBI yeah. to do that? I mean, that's why I say that there's so much uh, that's important here. A lot of this is easily verifiable, Pete, with, with, with an investigation. But what we found is the people that were charged with investigating weren't allowed to investigate. Yeah. They don't so want to find it. That's why I think this is a story that can't go away, because people can't lose sight of the fact of this, Pete. At the end of the day, if Hunter Biden willfully evaded taxes with regard to these types of transactions, uh, by not reporting them, then so did Joe Biden. And other people know about it, which is dangerous for our national security, and we could see it playing out in front of us. John Radcliffe, thank you. I'm Steve Ducey. I'm Brian Kilmeade. And I'm Ainsley Earhart. And click here to subscribe to the Fox News YouTube page to catch our hottest interviews and most compelling analysis.